Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum friends. So today our topic is wiring method. Wiring method a lot of people uh, and our friends are requesting to prepare one video on wiring method. In this uh, this video is very important and maybe it will be a little bit long so I will post in the uh, part wise. So before that video uh, I will explain on the slides i want to explain something on whiteboard also so in this uh, video we have uh, some uh, i decided to discuss like uh, four topics uh, first one we will discuss lugs which kind of or uh, what type of lugs we will use our uh, standards allow us to use in industrial areas um, remember that we are discussing industrial areas okay non industry areas there is sometime they give some optional or something uh, it's not like uh, maybe there is allow some different type of also lugs then the second we will discuss glands cable glands so which type of cable glands and uh, material uh, we will use in industrial area in aramco sabic or uh, some other uh, any industry then we will discuss the cable link and at the end wi wiring which one we will go for a free roll scheme or uh, tags so this is the purpose of this video first i will let you know just uh, simply uh, the lugs regarding lugs there is a lot of type uh, in electrical or in instrument we will use the lugs like fork tank pin type flange type ring type this is all types so in the slides you can see more also so that lugs uh, should be a material should be like a copper okay and it's a crimped type same like that we will discuss regarding the cable glands also and cable gland material in electrical it's like nickel plated or brass we can use it in instrument industrial area they want uh, only ss material uh, like stainless steel that kind of cable glands we have to use that one and now in specially in aramco they are asking barrier type because the in the aramco now they are not allowed to in electrical conduit uh, with the conduit when we will bring near to the jb they, before they allow us to install seal fitting and now they said no need seal fitting just barrier type cable gland we have to use okay so before we are using when the conduit will uh, come in the junction box or enter into the junction box we use the seal fitting union so now they remove this all the things in electrical and only barrier type cable gland we have to use it in instrument we can use the seal fitting okay next uh, is uh, cable link cable link purpose you know everyone uh, there are some direct buried cables there is uh, we have to prepare that tranche uh, conduit conduit regarding conduit installation we already have a one proper video of on conduit so if you still not yet watch that video please go to our uh, qc course in there you can find that conduit video there is all uh, related to conduits and installation process everything uh, already discussed on that cable tray same we already discussed on the cable tray and uh, there is still some people want to discuss more deeply in cable tray so in future i will try to prepare one more video on cable tray but i think uh, cable tray installation related to nima we we do as per that one and i already much enough for like in initial stage uh, that video okay the just i want to uh, hear uh, one thing before go to the slide uh, i want to show you the cable uh, direct buried cable trunch uh, in one video little bit discuss maybe there is a some voice issue or uh, something so i want to explain again that one in Sabic, Aramco are non other industrial area. First of all, you have to follow the, you have to follow your standard drawing. Which one there, there, there is mention depth of that, uh, how much depth required for that cable. Now, if we will go to the NEC, there is a some particular rated voltage. Okay, this much rated voltage, like low voltage, we need 600 mm. We need medium voltage. We need that one uh, is. 900 are same like that high voltage is a 1000 plus but in aramco there there is some different if we will go to the 
we can say low voltage. So I just write, try to write it and uh, you can see. LV cable, the direct buried, it's uh, said 610 mm. MV, 920 mm. And HV, 107. This R is in mm. This is the basically depth. Depth of cable. Mean one, when we will make a cable tranche, then we have to make sure the depth of the cable is this much. Okay, when we will go to in conduit, then there is a different. This is direct buried. Same, when we go to the conduit, then there is a different. And if we will go to the duct bank, it's also some different. Like if go to the duct bank, it's like a 460 for all. If we will go to the, in the conduits, PVC conduit or PVC coated RGS conduit, then there is a like, LV is 460, MV is the 710 and HV is also some different. It's already explained very well in the detail. But I want to actually make here one only small thing, uh, trunch depth. There is a, I cannot uh, draw that one. So I just show you that one. So trunch is okay. This is basically depth. Now suppose we will discuss that uh, we can say LV cable. 610 mm must be uh, there from the cable. It's not from, we can say, like uh, bottom of that one. Because from bottom side, if we will uh, go to the standard drawing, if we go to the Sabic, they say, okay, 50 mm sweet sand is enough. In Aramco nowadays, new standard drawing, they are saying 150 mm required sweet sand below the cable. So we can see like that. This is one, this is sweet sand. We are discussing like Aramco, okay? In the non-industrial other areas, there is like 50, 70, whatever they demand in the drawing. We have to follow the drawing. Okay, now we will pull the cable. This is our, okay, direct buried cable. Direct buried cable should be armored cable or there is a, sometime they ask the question okay if there is no armored cable and we want to pull in direct buried so there are some cables uh, have a uh, written on the insulation this cable is suitable for direct buried even that one is not armored so that one is okay okay from this cable from this cable to actually we need 610 mm or 920 it's not from here Okay, this is very uh, important question sometimes uh, some of our friends, okay, they can read the standard or they can just remember that one, okay, LV cable depth is just 610 mm, no. That depth starting from the cable, so 610 mm plus 150, so that one is become 760 mm trunch depth for the LV cable. Remember that, same 910 mm, if, uh, 20 mm for the MV, then you have to add 150 mm. Okay, after that, this cable, this is now cable. Then you have to, like 300 mm, you have sand again, sweet sand. This 300 mm sand in Sabit, in the non-industrial area, or Aramco, everywhere same. Only there is maybe, below that cable, there is little bit different, okay? Above the cable, 300 must require that one. Then we have a red tiles. Red tile if uh, from like a normal tiles, which one made by, uh, we can say the concrete or something, that one is the 50 mm. Uh, this is 50 mm width of uh, And uh, if there is a plastic tile, then that one should be a 12 mm or otherwise we can use as per the standard wire mesh, PVC coated wire mesh. 
Okay, now you have a red tile. This we can say, okay, red tile. Then there is, this is warning tape. In electrical yellow warning tape, okay, there should be written in, in Saudi Arabia or in uh, any other Gulf countries, they want written in black words with Arabic and English, okay? Arabic and English both, and the width of that, uh, uh, this warning tape, that one is the 300 mm. Because our trench, remember that any trench, if you want to make that one, this, this thing is, should be 300 mm. In Aramco or in Sabic, it should not be less than that. So we have a yellow tape also, 300 mm width, that one. After that, this uh, warning tape, sometimes they ask, okay, like uh, 50 mm or like 5, 10, 20, whatever, little bit switch end, and then in this area, we can use normal select field. What is a select field? It's normal, whatever there is uh, sand with the stone or if there is a like we can say mud or whatever there is the select field or we make it from uh, during the digging of that trench whatever material came out we can use that one okay until here then we have to compact should be compact so this is our cable i mean cable trench uh, procedure so same after that uh, we will discuss i just want to show in this video one more thing related to wiring because during the wiring uh, of that one basically we need three tags okay some we uh, we can read that one but in there uh, maybe there is difficult for me in the slide to explain that one or some people just want to be a practical so in practical i just want to show okay This is one JB. Here is terminal block. Whatever one or two, whatever. Okay. Now the cable coming through conduit or whatever. It's like we can say, okay, it's coming from the, here is, this is your ground. It's a coming direct buried cable. When we will use, we have to use here stub up conduit. Stub up is like PVC. So what kind of PVC? This is already discussed in the uh, conduit video. Okay, the stub up maximum we can use 150 mm. If this is hazard environment and the JB distance is more than 1 meter or 1.8 meter, then we have to use the RGS PVC coated conduit. In uh, I one short video, you already you can see that one. Uh, in our area, we use that one. If that portion is not much bigger or less than like a one meter or something, so then we can bring the, directly the cable to the inside the junction box. So outside the junction box, we have here SS stainless steel tag. Here is cable number which one? PC001 suppose there is only cable number cable number mean this one where we can found that one cable schedule uh, we will discuss in one more video related to the drawings what kind of drawing we are going to use in electrical so cable schedule there is a, that cable number that tag we have to SS cable tag with the PVC coated steel ties we have to use here outside after that once the cable enter through gland here, okay, they, then this it will become like 3 core or whatever how many. Then we have to use here also PVC tag. There is also same this tag number is should be there. Because if entry of 3, 4, 5 cables, uh, then how we can identify the, uh, inside the JB? It should be a here, even it's like a control panel or any other panel should have a here PVC tag. It's PVC sleeve tag or that tag is with the PVC we can tie with the some 
PVC tie, we can tie that one on that cable. And after that, every core have a different that is ferrule. That's called ferrule. So how we have to ferrule prepare that ferrule? This one we will discuss in the slide. Okay, friends. So in this video, sure you can understand all the things regarding ferrule or other things. Uh, I will discuss on the slides. And if still you have any question, you can write on the comment. Thank you.